Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel, and in today's video, we will be learning about how to fix SPF fail not authorized send error. Now, both SPF sender policy framework and DMARC domain based message authentication, reporting, and uh, confirmance uh, are extensions to internet email so that in this way unauthorized persons cannot use your email address to impersonate you now spf rec records are maintained at your dns manager we will be using cloudflare to manage our dns records in this video and spf in dns record uh, of type txt okay so what exactly is SPF fail not authorized send error? Now, if you receive this error, it means your IP is not authorized to send email for your domain. For example, you're living in city A and your personal IP is registered or is authorized. So if you travel to city B and you're trying to send an email through some other uh, IP address, which is not authorized, you will get this message. So you need to add SPF record for the new IP in DNS manager. All right, now let us see how you can exactly do that. Okay, so first of all, you need to lo log into your Cloudflare account and from here, select your um, domain. Right now I only have one over here, so I'm gonna click on that. Once you have opened it up, click on DNS from the left-hand side menu. And now you need to add a record so click on add record type is going to be txt once you do that this is going to be root and content is going to be this command now i will mention this in the description of this video also so instead of this why 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 you can just simply enter your current ip address that you want to be you want it uh, that you want to get authorized with your dns once you do that click on save and it's super simple your record is added so right now of course again i'm going to get an error since why 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 is not an uh, authentic ip address but once i enter my actual ip address in this uh, command it's going to authorize my current or my new IP address. Now it is always good to have a valid SPF record because not every email provider will perform this, uh, will perform this check, but you still need to have valid SPF record published in case you run into any issue. So make sure that whenever you change your IP address, you enter your SPF record uh, in your DNS records. So that's it for today. I hope the video was useful. If you still have any questions, just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe Cyber Panel.